Good afternoon, everyone. This is the Global Cooling Rundown from August 25th to September 1st, 2017. August 1st to August 15th, average max temperatures down in the U.S. And melting on Greenland already seems to have turned a corner and melt season has ended a month early. Arctic sea ice, you've been told it's melting to oblivion. Uh, Actually, it's at the minimum fifth least amount of melting in the last 13 years. Anyway, if you haven't been following the Arctic mission... They are quickly running into massive sea ice that's going to turn them back. They were trying to reach the North Pole to prove that global warming was happening, but this year, there's hundreds of thousands more square kilometers of ice, which is in the next couple of days going to stop them in their tracks. They're currently moving at one-tenth of a knot because of sea ice. And speaking of that, you've been told all this summer that there's less sea ice. Well, let's look exactly how much there is up there and also see the temperatures that are well below zero, encompassing the entire North Pole, and not to mention the below normal temperatures throughout the entire melt season. Disease and water bogging. Stripe rust seem to be the name of the day across the United States. Let's take a look. Maine blueberry crop disease and lack of pollination. Soils in Illinois, cooler and drier in mid-August. Wait, I thought it was supposed to be a heat wave to end all heat waves across the U.S. And we do have a final test case here in California during the extremely wet springtime. So you can see exactly what's going to happen as we enter into each successive spring going forward. Leaf rust, disease, water logging, and decreased crop yield. Australia showing a trend of grand solar minimum intensification as well. Let's start back in their summer, humid and wet conditions. Where did I see that before? Also, macadamia nut crop revised down to 47,000 tons from 54,000. Darwin's coldest night, five degrees Celsius below average for this time of the year. Victoria breaking a 50 year cold record at Mount Hotham, but notice how the line is actually off the chart. And with the grand solar minimum, you're going to see more pests moving around the planet. Here we go. Tomato, potato, psyllid, decreasing yields on tomatoes, potatoes, capsicum, chili, eggplants, and sweet potato crops. And hey, I didn't know there was a mouse plague in Australia two months ago. Arctic sea ice melt season has stopped gains. 4.964 million square kilometers the day before yesterday. Today, 4.973. The Arctic is gaining ice in August. Orange arrows show you where the gains are. Plus, the Arctic mission is right at the edge of all that pack ice. They're going to be turned back. Link found between cold European winters and solar activity. Central Europe. They use the Rhine River freezing in Germany as one of the markers The last time the Rhine River froze, 1963, where did I see that before? Oh, Finland, new snow record this summer. Last record broken when they saw those depths, 1963. And did I mention the July snows in Romania? And as we enter this grand solar minimum, cryptocurrency is going to replace this old economic system that is going to crash due to high food prices. If you were following Monetha crowd sale, they raised $36 million in five minutes. If you want the world to adopt cryptocurrency, you're going to have to get them a way to pay for it and use it. Here we go. Monetha.